It's Barnes and Leslie. We are the Morning X. I may sound like I've got a little pep in my step today, Leslie. A little bit. Why is that? Because I'm looking, I'm touching, I'm smelling money. Money, 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 money. We have it ready to go. This is the $1,000 show quiz showdown. 10 questions. Rapid fire format. 60 seconds on the clock. If you get all 10 of them, and they won't be hard, if you listen 6 to 10, you should have no problem. If you get all 10, you win $1,000. It's brought to you by GetInTheRing.com. You must. I mean... Just stop down, go to 99x.com, and sign up, because that is the legal hurdle that we all must cross. So you're saying we're, we're paying you to listen? Yeah, well, you have to, like, sign up. <laughs> Our lawyers were like, you are not giving away money. You're not. Sign up. Yeah, you got it. They got to sign up. That's what our lawyers sound like. And so there we go. We have the sign up. So I got through all the hurdles and now it's just about giving. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to start this. And this is not a one off. We're going to keep it going. $1,000 show quiz showdown starts Monday in the seven o'clock hour. We'll do the first one, but you have to sign up now at 99x.com. Barnes, um, I borrowed something from Barnes's Tech Corner. Oh, do you have something of mine? I do. This is from Barnes's Tech Corner. Digital condoms now exist. Okay. And the creator says they're as easy as real condoms. What? Now, they can't ward off STDs, but it can safeguard your sex. How? It's called Camdom. C A M D O M. What is this? Camdom is your digital condom blocking anyone from taking pictures filming, or recording audio without your consent. I like this. All you need to do is to open it before having sex to protect your digital intimacy. Wait. Adding that the software isn't hard to use, but instead as easy as using a real condom. So it's like a jammer? It's like a, a frequency jammer? What is it What is it doing? It's an app. <laughs> but you open the app and it blocks what? Yes. Once those intimate moments make social media timelines. Victims of violation are likely to suffer long-term psychologically. And so this is all about reducing any of that. Smartphones have become an extension of our body and we store a lot of sensitive data on them. So in order to protect you, Barnes, from the recording of non-consexual content, this is the first app that can block your camera and mic simply through the use of Bluetooth. First of all, hearing you talk about playing with my sensitive data is not yeah, something that. I signed up for <laughs> today. Secondly, does it block the other person's phone too or just the one, just the I think it blocks everybody. Okay, Leslie, if you're going to do a tech corner. This is a real this is a real thing. The creator but is saying I know. he hopes to curb okay. any of the embarrassing outcomes. What's it called? Camdom. Camdom. All right. Yeah. You know, I, if you would have told me this before, I would have said I have concerns about you explaining technology. Let's yes. just leave it there. Here's the. He, he, yes, it can. It says it can simultaneously block okay. as many devices as needed. Okay. Now that's now we're getting somewhere. Camdom. Okay. Well, I have some stuff I'd like to share too, but there I didn't oh. steal from my tech corner. Now you know <laughs> I vo- I avoided the cyber truck. Which yeah, you did. That was like dodging the biggest bullet of my life of douchebaggery. And I just saw it coming. So I had the vision to stay away. But they have finally come up for a good use for it. I thought I would mention a pizzeria. Now, this is in New Jersey, but I think this is going to be everywhere. They're using it as a mobile pizza oven. If that's not brilliant, I don't know what isn't. I mean, what? So because there's, there's power in the back and there's yeah. an actual plug. And so... They've built an oven into the back to deliver the pizzas. They bought a a small fleet of them. This is brilliant. I think it's brilliant. Here's another brilliant. One of my favorite things is Jimmy John's and that pickle. What do you mean that pickle? Like that monster, huge pickle. So it's a sandwich, but it's a pickle instead of bread. Steal my story, Leslie. Go ahead. No, I saw it. Go Go ahead. 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 Just go ahead and finish it. Stop it. Stop it. (laughs) I'm talking about the pickle leading up to the story and Leslie stealing my story. Sorry. sorry. Okay, finish it. What's happening What's happening at Jimmy John's? It's your story. Go ahead. It's a pickle witch. A pickle what? Story stealer. 
It's a sandwich. What, you act now. You're trying to act like you don't know what it is. I didn't know that was what it was called. It's a sandwich where they they dig out the pickle and they build the sandwich inside the pickle. All of a sudden, you don't know what I'm talking about. No, I actually think it's brilliant because I like the uh, sandwiches with the lettuce. Now there's one for a pickle. Leslie, you, t- you okay? I saw the picture online. I like the way you're trying to just go far, <laughs> as far away now from the story as you can. So through the 14th, they have two options. The Vito Pickle Witch and the Turkey Pickle Witch, which you can get, let's see. Oh, and they're bringing back their Pickle Jimmy Chips. <laughs> it's, what? It's like a Pickle Rena. It is Pickle Rena. And then 50% off the Pickle Witch on National Sandwich Day. Mark your calendars, which is coming up November the 3rd. So, you heard about that from Leslie, if they ask. Stop. Remember the Lily Allen story, how she's on Wiki Feet? Yes. Singer Lily Allen, she's on Wiki Feet, and uh, she's doing quite well, by the way. She has like a five-star rating. You talking about where she's making more money from her feet than her music? Yeah. Barnes, thanks for stealing my story. <laughs> Takes Thanks, Barnes, for stealing my story. Oh, go ahead. You tell the story, Barnes. No, you tell go, the story. Please, go no, ahead. No, you tell the story. No, I'm, go ahead. <laughs> What's it about, Leslie? What about her feet? She, well, a fan, a fan came out and kind of criticized her and said, imagine being one of the biggest pop stars, musicians in Europe, and then being reduced to this. Want to hear her clap back? Sure. Imagine being an artist and having nearly 8 million monthly listeners on Spotify, but earning more money from having a thousand people subscribe to pictures of your feet. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Because basically you make no money on Spotify. (laughs) Leslie, do you realize if you would do a photo session with your feet, how much money you can make? She has beautiful feet. I'm saying, but you apparently don't. So the gawk factor would be off the charts. That's another site called Ugly Feet. I'm telling you, you're leaving money on the table. She's charging $10 a month on OnlyFans. I do like this. What's happened here is kind of a premise. Steal your story. where you. I do like that. Yeah. Yeah. St- okay. yeah. okay, here's one. I bet you don't steal this one. Okay, okay I'm, I've got a who is this for you. So this is a 99X band. Their first new album in 14 years. First new studio album. 14 years. They just played here and sold out. I've given up. Now I've given too much away. And I think they kind of leaked. It wasn't even leaked. It, it was a planned thing. They did a song in a freight elevator at a radio station in Texas. It's KSTX, their public radio. And I think this is a diss track, in my opinion. Listen to it, and here are your two questions. Who is the band? I think it's obvious. Although I think he's singing a little more than he usually does. There's a clue. And who is this song about? Here's a minute of it. Man, I've listened to this song about five times, and I cannot get it out of my head. I don't know what it is about it, but here's your musical question. And that was done in a freight elevator, full band, full instrumentation, and it sounds great. Man, the acoustics in that freight elevator. I know you're one all about audio, but it was good. And it was was John McRae. It was Cake. Yes, Cake's new album next year. And obviously, Billionaire in Space, he doesn't come out and say it anywhere, but Elon Musk. That was really funny, by the way. Catchy. It's a really so, catchy song. I love Cake. And isn't he singing more than he normally does? He's not really talking. Yeah, he really is. I'm, you know, they're working on new music, so I'm excited to hear what happens, yeah. That's if that's a preview. Yeah, new album from Cake coming next year. Let's get into some sleaze. It's next on 99X.